Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. I hope everybody fared the hurricane as well as you could. My thoughts are with everybody down there in Florida, uh, up here in Virginia. Obviously, we got a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, but nothing major. So I hope everybody did okay. Uh, anyway, today I've got the Rotary Henley Chrono 100 meter quartz, and this is model number GB05440-02. Rotary was kind enough to send me this watch. Let's check this thing out. All right, guys, you've probably heard this spiel a million times. Uh, if you like this watch, make sure you check out, obviously, Rotary's website. But for all the other watches I've reviewed on my channel, check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed. As y'all know, I do get a very, very small commission from Amazon if you buy from my store, so I definitely appreciate it. Guys, this is normal Rotary packaging. Nothing really revolutionary here. You got an outer watch box, or outer, outer watch sleeve, I guess, and you've got an inner green rotary watch box all right here is the first look here there you go now i love this because this is going to be a fantastic alternative to those uh new uh seiko speed timer solar pandas as you can see this is a panda colorway fantastic looking watch i do have a couple gripes with it nothing major uh but overall i mean i'll give you a little bit of spoiler alert i really like this watch all right so let's see what we got back here i'm assuming some sort of warranty and or manual. Let's see what we got here. Uh, congratulations on choosing a rotary watch. There is your guarantee right there. I guess that's some sort of code, QR code, uh, international guarantees. Does this thing open up? I don't think it does, does it? Nope. Uh, these watches obviously very easy to operate. You can go on Rotary's website and check out the manual if you really need to do it. I mean, it's, it's a very simple watch. But there is that. Let's go ahead and take it off the pillow. Nothing else in here. All right, so let's put that back there. Man, that's a good looking watch. All right, and guys, I'm not normally a chrono person. I just never have been. I don't really have a need for a chronograph. I mean, some of y'all might, but I don't. I just really love the way this look and the fact that this is a uh, fantastic alternative to one of those solar panels. I do wish this was solar as well, but you know, you can't have everything you want. You just, it's just not gonna happen. Well, you can, but you're gonna pay a little bit more for it. Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and give you all the seven specs that you need to know, and I'll put the rest down there in the description field for you. Of course, the case is made out of stainless steel and it's 41 millimeters. Thickness is 11.65 millimeters. Lug to lug is 46 millimeters. Uh, the bracelet is a 20 millimeter stainless steel bracelet. Uh, it's only water resistant to 100 meters, which is 330 feet, not a dive watch. I couldn't get any information on the movement. Uh, which type of chronograph movement is inside of here? I'm guessing it's some sort of either Japanese or Chinese chronograph movement. I wouldn't think they put like a Ronda or anything like that in here, uh, just because it might be a little too, you know, a little too costly for the customer. I'm guessing some sort of maybe Miyota, maybe Seiko Instruments, something like that, or maybe some sort of off-brand Chinese movement. I just don't know. You do get a nice sapphire crystal with an AR coating. And of course, for everything else, go down there in the description field and check out all those specs. Uh, you know, stuff like it's got, you know, sign screw down, uh, crown with crown guards. Um, uh, it is, uh, you got chronograph pushers over here at two and four o'clock. I do have a little bit of a gripe with these. These are fake screw down pushers. These do not actually work. Eh, I don't like it when they fake the funk like that, but I mean, it looks great. It really does look nice, but these are not screwed down. These are just regular pushers. So let me say what else I want to tell you about this thing. Again, I love the overall look. You got applied indexes, as you can see. They've got that green lumen side. You've got a black and white panda style dial. Uh, the, those panda dials, that panda colorway is extremely popular right now. As you can see, my uh, review of that Seiko Panda Speed Timer uh, a couple, I guess about a week or so ago. Uh, people really love that review. Thank you so much. And again, I think this is a good, it's a little bit cheaper alternative to either one of those, one of the Seikos. Orient also has a uh, a panda style chronograph. Uh, and I think this is, you know, a really good option for that. Again, it's not solar. Uh, you would have to, you know, crack it open and change out a battery. Not a big deal. I'm, I've never been a fan of changing out batteries just because I don't like to, you know, crack open a case back if I don't have to because I've never been quite sure how tight to uh, retighten that case back without destroying the seal. So I've always been a little bit nervous about doing that. I've gotten better about it recently. But anyway, so this isn't solar. Not a big deal. It does have the fake pushers. Eh, I mean, it's a design thing. Not a big deal. 
Uh, you do have a screw down crown though, which is nice. You got these nice crown guards, uh, nice uh, bezel here. Of course, it's not a, uh, a dive bezel, it's just a tachymeter bezel. Um, a big Arabic uh, number 12 up there. Again, these indexes are applied. Of course, you got your running seconds down there at six o'clock. Let me see here, my eyes are killing me. Uh, all this other stuff, all these other ones have to do, all these other subdials have to do with your chronograph function. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that real quick before I forget because I always tend to forget these things. So there you go. Go ahead and start it and then stop. Of course, you can do a lap time as well. Stop it and then reset. It's actually pretty quick to reset, which is nice. I'll do it. Go ahead and demonstrate that again. And it's actually, it's actually, it resets faster than that speed timer from Seiko, as a matter of fact. Look at that. That's pretty quick. Um, what else I want to tell you about this thing? Um, let's go ahead and look at the case. I mean, you got a big polished side on either side. You do have a lot of brushing as well. Looks like the pushers are polished. You have a signed crown with the rotary logo right there, a little wings logo. Again, the pushers are polished. Unfortunately, again, I wish they would, I wish they had done something maybe different about these, these fake screw downs, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the crown does have a lot of grip to it. It's a nice crown. Almost feels like it's Swiss, tell you the truth. Really, really buttery smooth action. Screwing it down and unscrewing it. Wow, really nice. Holy crap. That's impressive. Uh, the rest of the case, again, you know, mostly brushed. Let's look at the, uh, you got solid end links here, solid stainless steel bracelet. Here's the uh, other drawback that I was like, man, I wish you could have done this. But again, you know, each one of these little features that they add to a watch, guys, it does add to the cost. So if they had done a milled class, that would probably have added another, I don't know, $20, $30, $50. I'm not quite sure. But it does have the stamped metal class, which is eh, kind of a letdown. Uh, the case back still got the sticker on it, but it says uh, 125 years um, that uh, Rotary's been making watches. It's all laser etched and everything. And it is screwed down, which is nice. Let me see here. What else I want to tell you? There's not too much really to tell you about it, man. I mean, it's just a really nice, little bit cheaper alternative uh, to those Seiko solar chronographs, the Orient chronograph. Uh, that Orient is also solar too, by the way. So if you want to spend just a little bit less money, but still get a fantastically well-built watch, I mean, this thing feels absolutely rock solid. Now, I don't know if uh, Rotary is going to give me a coupon code so y'all can use to you know, save some money on this thing. I'm in contact with them right now. I forgot to ask them. They forgot to offer it up. So I'm going to find out. And if there is a code, I'll go ahead and put that code down there in the description field, maybe Monday or Tuesday. Maybe you can save yourself a little bit of money. Um, so we'll see what they come up with. But man, I, I like this watch a lot. Let me go ahead and try it on real quick. And we'll give you a loom shot. Now I know this is gonna fit because I tried it earlier. It's actually a little tiny bit loose. You've got three micro adjusts. So I'd probably have to tighten it up one notch. Yeah, just one notch would probably be perfect. God, that's a great looking watch, man. Really, really good looking watch. All right, let's go ahead and take it off. Let's give you a loom shot. I don't know what type of loom it is, unfortunately. I just, I couldn't get that information. Let's kill the monitor. Let's kill the studio light. You can see it already glowing a little bit. Really nice loom, man. All right, there's the loom. Wow, holy crap. That's really good loom. I'm guessing maybe Super Luminova BGW9. I don't know why my, my voice just almost cracked. <laughs> maybe. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but that is, guys, that is really good loom, and it's not fading either. Wow. Good job, Rotary. Again, I don't know what compound they're using, whether it's Superluminova or some other, you know, proprietary compound. Pretty good loom. So that's a good point. And again, this isn't a dive watch. So the fact that it has pretty good loom kind of gives you an overall view that this is a very well-built and thought-out watch. So I like this thing. Again, major drawbacks, stamped clasp. Pushers being fake, not being solar. I would say, okay, I take that back. They're not major drawbacks, but I'm like, man, I just wish they would have, you know, done those things on this watch. Uh, you can currently get this over at Rotary site for $459. Again, I'm gonna try to get a coupon code for you if I can. It does come in multiple different colors. Uh, you got an all black. You have got, let me see here. You got an all black. You have got a black dial with blue bezel. You have got a blue dial with blue bezel. You've got the Panda version, this one, and then you've got an all orange, like a burnt orange version where the dial is burnt orange and the bezel is burnt orange. So you've got a couple different options if you want to pick one of these things up.
I think they're fantastic looking watches. And again, a great alternative to one of those speed timers from Seiko or one of those uh, solar chronographs from Orient. And I'd love to know y'all's thoughts. We, we, you know, what do you think about this thing, man? I like it. I, I really do like it a lot. And again, I'm going to try to get you that coupon code to see if we can uh, save you, you know, some money. So as always, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell if you like my content. And I really hope you do. I try to put out content as frequently as I can, at least every Sunday. Uh, put out a little extra content uh, a couple of days ago on Friday. So, uh, you know, if you like my content, you know, please consider liking and subscribing. And uh, guys, that would really be about it. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.